Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek. Today I'm going to discuss my thoughts and opinions upon an MTV television series by the name of Teen Wolf. I'm going to talk about Season 3, Episode 23, titled Insatiable. Pretty much what t this episode of Teen Wolf is about is we have obviously our main characters, and if you've been watching the series previously, you know that we now have both two versions of Styles. Now we have a good version of Styles and a bad version of Styles. So we have our Styles back, and in this episode, they're pretty much trying to find the you know the, our villain of the series, the bad version of Styles. The you know the villain, whatever you want to call him, that Akitsune has kidnapped Lydia's character, and this entire episode is pretty much revolving around that they're trying to find Lydia's character and then this episode also you know there's also you know we all know that one character in this season is going to die and in this episode that character does die I won't say his who it is yet because I don't want to spoil anything for those of you who haven't seen it uh, but I will spoil it later on in this review uh, but in this episode we have a banshee character that keeps you know that you know a, a different one besides Lydia's character another banshee character is introduced and this a uh, specific and certain Banshee character keeps dropping little hints to who that character might be because of the other Banshees whispering to her and talking to her. That's pretty much the main just and plot details for the MTV television series with the name of Teen Wolf, Season 3, Episode 23, titled Insatiable. My thoughts and opinions and review this episode, I loved this episode. Just so you guys know, there will be spoilers in this video. You know, in this episode, we had one of our, you know, one of our main characters die. The character of Allison died in this episode. You know, she's been a main character since the first episode, and I always liked her character. No, she wasn't my favorite or anything like that, but she was definitely a main character in the show. You know, she, you know, she was always there since the very beginning. She's been in every episode since the first season. So this was a huge, you know, devastating moment when she died. Did I mind that she died? You know, it was a very fitting death, I thought. It was a sad death. Brought tears to my eyes. It was a, you know, I thought it was a very fitting death. You know, the way, you know, her dying in his arms. I think that the writers, you know, Jeff, Jeff Davis, Christian Taylor, all the writers and creators behind the show, I thought they did a great job, you know, writing her character out of the show, a fitting death that made you feel for the character. Uh, but it was also a great death scene also, you know, her getting stabbed in the stomach and the blood coming out. I mean, it was just, a, it was a great scene overall. Definitely one of the best moments in the MTV television series by the name of Teen Wolf. You know, this series is built, you know, this this season, just this series in general, has built up to some great moments and I'm really curious to see how they're going to kill off this this you know in this Nikitane character because in this particular episode our bad version of Styles actually takes ownership of our Oni characters you know the demons whatever you want to call them he actually takes ownership of these Onis so not only do they have the Nikitane to worry about they have the Nikitane and the Onis and that's you know the Onis is ultimately what brings Allison to her death and you know brings Allison to her downfall. Uh, so I'm really curious to see, you know, will the Nikitsune be taken out in the finale, or is he going to be, you know, or is he going to tr cause trouble in season four also of the MTV television series by the name of Teen Wolf. Overall, a great episode. Some other things that I loved about it was our character of, you know, Chris Argent, played by the actor by the name of J.R. Bourne. He's a great actor, and you could really see that, you know, that his character was overall just, you know, devastated. He knew his daughter was going to die. Like, you could see his face, you know, he could see, you, you could see it on his face, like, towards the end, that his daughter was in trouble, she was dead. And you could just see that, you know, you could just see that reaction, I guess you could say. You could see that reaction on his face, and overall, I loved that scene. Overall, a great episode, a sad episode that has some great build-up moments. As I said earlier, my favorite part was the moment between Scott McCall and Allison, whenever, you know, he's, you know, she says, you know, you're my first love, my only love, the only love I ever had. You know, when she says all that kind of sentimental, emotional stuff, it really got to me, and I really thought it fit, you know, the show also. I actually thought, you know, my theories, you know, of were before were actually that Derek and I or Isaac might die. I thought Isaac was gonna die beforehand, and you never know he could, he still could. Uh, but I thought like Isaac was gonna die in this episode because he was slashed at least ten or fifteen times by the Onis. So I thought that was really you know interesting that he didn't die because 
shortly after he slashed, you know, ten times, or, you know, however many times he slashed, Allison gets stabbed, and she's the one that ends up dying, so I thought that was really interesting. Uh, so it's going to be curious to see what happens to Isaac's character. Overall, a great episode. Nothing wrong with it. Some great build-up, sentimental, emotional scenes, great acting, and overall just some great moments. I can't wait to see what the season finale is going to bring us. Once again, thanks for watching another video by Centipede Geek for my MTV television series review of the series name of, of Teen Wolf for Season 3, Episode 23, titled Insatiable. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the page below. I'll see you guys later. More videos by Centipede Geek.